This program is brought to you by UCKG. It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. There was no peace really because inside of me was absolute turmoil. So before, before um, coming to the church, how I would deal with things would certainly be, um, it would be a facade really. I would pretend that everything was okay, but inside of me I was tormented. Inside of me I was worried and concerned, didn't know who to share it with because I was quite secretive. I didn't want to make out that anything was going wrong. So this piece that I have now, it's, it's, I cannot compare it to what I had before. You know, the, there's no pretense inside that I have peace. It, it's there when there's challenges, when there is situations that are un, unexpected. I've got to talk about the death of my daughter. So having peace at that moment, because that was so unexpected, because I had gone to the hospital, I had visited her, I prayed with her that very night before leaving and I told her that I'd be back. She was in pain but she was more sedated. On the way back I returned and it was just, you know, in prayer. And then I didn't feel disturbed by by anything at that point, not at all. So for me, that was an important case because I, well, I didn't expect anything at that, that point. So I was in peace, so it was important. The peace was there. The peace is so valuable because I, I don't, you know, I don't have sleepless nights. You know, I pass this on to my family when there are situations that's going on for them and just help them to, to realize that, you know, the situation will pass, but it's how we handle it. The importance of having God with me is second to none. It, I'm able to not just use my emotions, I allow myself just to be still and not actually respond like I used to. So God has given me this peace and it is true, it's His peace that I have, that I'm able to live this life that I'm living now. May God bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome to your program, Problems and Solutions. You just saw this wonderful testimony of this lady that she was looking for what many people in our days they look for. She was looking for peace. And maybe you are there, watch me right now, and when you saw the story of this person, you saw yourself in there because... You are a person that you have been looking for peace. You have been knocking at many doors. You have been trying in many ways. But unfortunately, things are getting worse and worse and worse. You saw this story and you see that only God can give you peace. It's written in the Word of God. My peace I give to you. My peace will be with you. If you are right now desperate, if you are right now in need of help, we are here ready to help you. You can call us right now. You have our telephone number, our WhatsApp number as well, below your screen. Or you can send us an email, or you can send us a message, um, a message on our messenger of our social media. You can be in contact with us right now, and we're going to have the pleasure to help you. But more than us to help you, because we help you through the power of God, there is God that wants to change your life. I am a human being, I can help you, I can give you support, I can give you a word of strength, but the only one that can change your life is God. This is what this lady found, and this is what you can find 
as well. Let's continue watching more testimonies and we'll be back with you straight after. For UCKG, my life was a mess. Everything was really bad, including my f my emotional life, my financial life. Um, I couldn't sleep. I had the panic attacks so bad that I ended up in the hospital. Top of all of it was my addiction, which in cost me my daughter. She was put in the foster care. I was giving up on myself, on life, in completely. And then I went to UCKG. The same day I was freed from addiction and my life started to go up and up and up. But regarding what was with my daughter, there was struggle, like fight every day. I, even to seeing her was always something wrong or dates was mixed up or times was mixed up. Lawyers was um, as confused as me. They couldn't chase up any papers, any signatures. They one, one time they're saying three months, other time is already six months and nothing is happening and I'm not getting any answers. Knowing that I done everything from my part, even more, I was not going to accept that. And um, I decided when I went home, as I said, some things went to the bin, some things went to the pawn shop and what I can put on the altar, I did. God honored me, he heard he and he accepted. To keep that focus on the altar is really important because if you will look left or right, you will, you will forget why you are doing that. And God accept it. The joy is right there because you know everything will be fine. And I was really calm, <laughs> really calm. Everyone in the school was like really anxious and was like, oh, I keep calling them, I saying them do this one or that. And I was like, calm down, everything is fine. Just no rush and everything sorted out by itself. Better than I ever can expect. Because in my mind, what I was planning and when I wanted to get her back, it would be mess. She was in the right time, bring back to me. He blessed me even more because everyone was saying that it will be hard when she will come back and there was nothing like that. She came back home to mom. She didn't came back to me thinking that she can be taken away. She knew what, what, what God done in my life. Then when we started to go together to the church, she, she, she realized it's for real and she started like physically, mommy, I love you, the cuddles, kisses all the time and uh, we are even closer together. Um, I'm more patient with her. She's more happy to spend time. She knows that we can do lots of fun things together. I basically finally fulfilling mom's role. If before I was all over the place, I couldn't be even normal human decent being then I can say I'm a good mom at the moment. Before I've got a piece, I was a very angry person. Small little things used to make me be angry and I couldn't control it. The importance of a piece inside of me is that I can handle everything, like problems with my husband or my kids around or at work. Before I, could, I didn't have this piece, I was a very angry person very nervous, stressful, every little things I was uh, ready to fight. I was stubborn. I, I was blind, let's say. My husband used, used to talk to me, but I didn't listen. I was like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, leave me alone. I was stubborn, to be honest. The first thing, when I came to the church, uh, I feel peace. On the prayers, I feel like I was relieved of the, let's say that something heavy on me. So I was feeling light, peace and calm. I wasn't not that stressed girl like before, but now I have a peace and I can handle the things. Even my kids when they shout or something go wrong on my daily and I can handle it. Having God inside of me, living with God all the time, having the peace is lovely. It's the best thing ever. And He give me peace, give me assurance. He guide me, He, he help me. So although I've got my kids, my husband, but I've got the most important thing that is God inside me, guide me. So there is nothing can go wrong. The opportunity is right before you. Grab your chance. And surely that the same God that changed those people's lives will change as well yours. Here in Sweden, we have three locations where we have our services. We are in Stockholm every day, open Monday to Monday. 
We have services at morning, afternoon, and evening. 10 in the morning and 7 p.m. is our English service. 4 o'clock in the afternoon is our Portuguese service. Tomorrow Wednesday, we have the Night of the Soul. We are in this journey towards Pentecost. And you can join us tomorrow. And through the Word of God, you can see the change of your soul. You can call us, uh, or you can text us, or you can visit us here at the Birgias Gotan 106. For more information, you can visit our website, uckg.sc. And surely that your life will change. It was a pleasure to be with you. Until next time, may God bless you. Just as God works with faith, the devil works with doubt. Doubt is the main weapon of hell to weaken and destabilize people all over the world. We are bombarded daily by voices that come at us from all sides, with most carrying that invisible poison of doubt. What we have observed is that those who drink from this poison offered by the kingdom of darkness end up becoming insecure and terrified. The voice to whom we give ear will dictate our actions and reactions. The Japanese scientist and researcher Masaru Emoto in one of his most intriguing experiments proved that words have the power to physically influence everything that exists. Emoto placed three servings of cooked rice in three different glass beakers, then covered them with water. Every day he would say, thank you, I love you, to one of the beakers. I hate you, you were a fool, to the second one. And the third he ignored completely. After a month, the result was surprising. The rice that received the kind words began to ferment, giving off a pleasant aroma. The rice in the second beaker, which received the negative words, became completely dark and rotten. And the third one, which was ignored, began to mold. Surely, this is thought-provoking. If a word caused such an effect with rice, can you imagine what this can do within a person? This is why we often see so many people overwhelmed by panic and fear, all because of a word they heard in one moment. Is it possible for a person to have peace when they have doubts? The only formula capable of shielding your faith is not listening to what might weaken you. Instead, feed yourself with the word that comes from God, as this generates certainty, conviction and strength. Consequently, even when facing a difficult period, you will not be shaken because this will sustain you in any situation. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Only those who are in him will overcome like he did. From now on, give ear more to the voice of faith because while the others pull you down, this one lifts you up. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me. This program is brought to you by UCKG.